A lot of times in Articulate Storyline, we have situations where we want to display some text that the learner has entered. And that's what I've got here. I've inserted this text entry field on my slide. And you can do that by coming up to the Insert tab and then choosing Data Entry and then Text Entry and then just draw it on your slide like I did. And when I did that, Storyline created a trigger for me automatically right over here in my Triggers panel. And this trigger stores the user's text in a variable after they enter it. Storyline creates the variable for me too. And you can see that right now it has this default name of text entry. And I could change that, but the slide is super simple. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. And now if I want to display that text that the learner enters, either you know display it here on this slide or in any other slide in my course, what I can do is insert a text box. So we'll come up to insert text box, or you could just put your cursor within an existing text box if you prefer, but I'm going to draw a new one on my slide here. And then with your cursor in the text box, you can insert a reference to this variable that Storyline created for us. So on the insert tab, I'm going to choose reference. That's going to show me a list of all the variables that are in use in my course. You can see I've only got one, but you might have several. So if you do, you can choose the one that you want to display the value for and then click OK. And then you get this little placeholder here in your text box that's going to get replaced with the actual value when your learners enter that text. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and we'll see how it behaves. So here's our text entry field and we can say this is some text. And when I enter that, you can see that right down here in the place that we inserted the reference, Storyline displays that text, typos and all, as you can see. And this looks fine, but what if the learner happens to enter more? So let's go ahead and just add some more text here. Here is a really long piece of text. If they do that, you can see that now we're having a little bit of a problem. And obviously the problem is that the text is now super, super tiny. In fact, it's so small that I, I can't even really read it. Um, and this really isn't how I want it to look, especially because I've got a lot more room here on this character's you know, little sign that she's holding. Now you might think that all we need to do here is select the text box and then you know, make it bigger like this. But as you can see, as soon as I release my mouse button after I resize it, it goes right back to the same size. It didn't change anything at all. But this is really easy to fix. All we need to do is make one small change to the text box's properties. And here's how we can do that. I'm going to right click on the selected text box and then choose Format Shape. And now we can choose this text box tab right here. It's the last one at the left. And the choice that we want to mark on this window is called Do Not Auto Fit. And then we can click Close. And once we do that, now we can resize that text box so that it fits right within the space where we want the text to appear. And now if we preview, let's just try this again. We'll say some text in here. Here is some text that is really, really long. I wonder if it will fit nicely within our sign. And if we lose focus on the um, data entry field, we can see that now it's filling up the area where you know we wanted it to appear. It doesn't look squashed. It extends all the way you know to the end of the text box. And if we did enter some more, um, then it would constrain things a little bit more. This is a little more text and some more. And now we'll see that it does resize a little bit so that it all fits within that space. So there is you know, some control that's going to keep it within the bounds that you chose. But turning off that auto fit option is what's going to let you have um, a lot more control over how big of an area you want that variable text value to fill. So I hope that helps.